Hey guys, this is Jay with Car Medics. I'm just at my shop right now. I'm just gonna do something. Uh, just go over the absolute basics of working on these Teslas. And first thing you gotta do, if you have a Tesla customer coming to your shop is ask for this key card. Cause if you don't have a key card, you're kind of screwed. Uh, or it's gonna be very annoying because for Tesla owners, you don't need a key. And you just use your phone as a key through their Bluetooth and you just open it that way. So um, I bet you like, like half the time if a Tesla owner comes in, they're not gonna have their key on them. And so if that's the case, you're just gonna have to borrow their phone and you can enter it that way. But you don't wanna do that. And they can actually unlock the card remotely through their uh, Tesla phone app. But it's only good for like three minutes. And that's also very annoying. So if you have a Tesla customer on the phone, just go ahead and ask them to bring their key card in. Now that's very, very basic. And so we here we are at a Tesla Model 3. Model 3 Model Y is gonna work exactly the same way. You get the key card here and you just place it right here. And you'll know it unlocks because it lights up and the mirrors unfold. Okay. Also, the way you open it, you push. A lot of people don't know that either. And if you've never been inside a Tesla, you push that button to get out. This right here, this lever, that's how you get out in, turn, in an emergency if that button doesn't work. All right, so if you come in, all right, first things first, hazard lights, a lot of people don't know where it is. If you need to use your hazards, it's right there. There's no key slot, there's nothing. So the key actually goes right here and it'll turn on. You push the brakes and then to reverse, pull up on it, go down to drive. I mean, that's all the same. To park it, you push the button. That's it. You don't turn it off or anything. You just grab your key card with you and leave. First thing you want to do when you're servicing these Teslas, well, you want to get the mileage, right? So let me show you how to do that. The car button on the bottom and always go under serve it, not service, actually software. Software where you is where you're going to find all the information what kind of Tesla it is, the VIN number, and of course the mileage. This one has 25,716 miles on it and all that crap, okay. Second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you want to put this in service mode. Now, what does service mode do? Well, let me show you how to get there first. So you hold this dual motor thing down, let go, and it should prompt the screen right here. Please enter access code and you just type in service. and you push enable and you're in service mode so all right so if you go under the service here if you're gonna uh, replace your wiper blade you have to, there's your wiper blade mode setting so you have to use that or the wiper blades won't clear the hood uh let's see under towing i missed the towing enable transport mode and you need to enable transport mode when you do the rear brake calipers and it'll unlock the parking brakes in the rear so you can take the rear calipers apart and do the parking service all right so we are on amazon.com you just look up uh tesla model 3 pug or tesla pug and it'll come right up and you can buy any of these. Any of these will work. They're just rubber pucks. Is there like hockey pucks? It's a, they have like a little knob on them. So if you look at my other Tesla service video, there's a slot where you just push it up and you just push it into the car all the way to make sure it's on there firm. Once again, do not try to lift up the car without these because you will break the high voltage battery and that's going to be super expensive. As you can see, like we'll see in a little bit, it's like 10 grand for that battery pack. Um, and that's not something you want to mess up and you can't even buy it unless you're like a collision shop Like they won't sell it to you. So we'll see that in a little bit And so like just buy a bunch of those for the shop like for every technician you have they're 20 bucks each So we bought it for every technician. They all have one. They won't be tempted to get you know lifted without it. So Just uh, we're gonna go look up some repair manuals now Tesla has released every single repair manual for every car so you have complete info on everything. So we're going to see that. So um, service.tesla.com and then just log in and go. We're going to see what they provide. So I think the first thing I look up is like the labor time. And 
the labor time really, really sucks. So for those of you that can't really see this, I don't know how YouTube will render this, but if it's not very visible, I will let you know what I look up. So first thing I'm gonna look up is like control arms. And you're gonna be really, really surprised. I'm gonna let the video catch up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna search control arms. And it's not like really organized. You're just gonna have to like control F and then type in what you wanna find. So for the upper control arm for the pair, it's 0.9. Nine tenths of an hour for the pair. And it says 0.4 for just one. Um, that's pretty insane. And then I look up cabin filter next. Cabin filter pays 0.45. And that's including filming the evaporator core. So I think if it's not filming, I think it pays like 0.3. And you saw all the crap that we have to take apart to get to the cabin filter. It'll probably take about 15 minutes, but that's what it also pays. Um, and we're going to look up an alignment. Alignment pays 1.6. And um, you have to take a bunch of crap in the back to adjust the rear camber and toe. And then you're gonna have to, the front toe, you have to remove all the plastic from the like, from the front, uh, from the front, frunk, frunk, yeah. All right, and then they provide all kinds of electrical diagrams and connectors. Some of the diagrams are really good. Some of them are really crap, but they're there, so. You know, see the plug-in connectors, things like that. And then um, let's look up the service manuals. I mean, there is info on everything. All the torque specs are there. Uh, pretty much, if you can build Legos, you can work on Teslas because it's all step-by-step. -step. You know, something like all that. It'll tell you what to do, what tools to use. Same thing with uh, same thing with Tesla. It's, it's all there. So I think I'll look up, yeah, alignment. So a four wheel alignment check, four wheel alignment, check and adjust. And then it tells you to like put 42 pounds of air pressure on all the tires. I mean, it just goes step by step, how to loosen, how to adjust the camber caster. I mean, everything's there. Very straightforward if you know how to follow directions. Once again, it's just very all time consuming. Another thing you're gonna do often is like the um, 12 volt battery. So once again, all the torque specs, all the steps, Everything is there. Honestly, um, if all the consumers had access to this, then you know they'd be able to do it by themselves. And you even see they have a, a DIY guy. Next thing you're gonna do is look up the parts manual. You wanna go to epc.tesla.com and it's gonna be a parts catalog of every part of the Tesla. So you can see one thing to note is there's shipping charges for every little part. Like every little bolt, every little part, it's gonna be a shipping charge. You're not gonna pick it up from your local Tesla service center. It's gonna come from like Georgia, like parts distribution house. So just like any other car, like if you have like, um, I don't know, like uh, access to, you know, dealer parts. I mean, this is very similar. All the specs and uh, you just, push that plus cart button to order and you place order and they'll mail it to you. Some parts you can't get like this 12 volt battery you can get like most of the stuff you can get. There's some things that you cannot get. So I'm looking at high voltage battery. Um, high voltage battery is one of those things that you cannot get. They will not sell it to you. Also the, uh, you won't be able to get the uh, drive units either. They are, Tesla only or some parts are Tesla only some parts are like certified collision center only and some are just open to everybody so if you go to find part you get like access to all the part numbers and descriptions and everything like that but you can't really order from there So just going through. And you can just, you know, type in anything and it'll just pop, pop right up. You get body parts, mirrors, everything. Um, so some parts you can't order unless you put the VIN number in. So luckily I had some VIN numbers already entered in. Um, once I did it without the VIN number and just looked up cabin filter, even though all the parts like cabin filters for the Model 3 and the Y are the same, they won't let you order it unless you have a VIN number. So don't forget to put the VIN in there. 
and you see now this is a front drive unit it says sales uh restriction it says restricted they won't sell it to you they won't sell you a drive unit but every other part they will and they'll also let you know uh they'll sell it to you over the counter like you know some of the stuff i think they'll just sell it to you if you're just a consumer you don't even have to be a uh registered with tesla so yeah front drive unit if that um if that fails then it's gonna be 2500 bucks and then I think I look up the uh, high voltage battery just because I was curious. I guess you can also, yeah, here it is, the high voltage battery assembly. And then you look it up. It's Tesla only and it's 10 grand price before tax. So that would really suck. And actually, I think the prices came down. I think it used to be like 14 grand I saw. Or something was 14 grand. So it did, it did, uh, I think it did come down in price. So let's see. To sign up, just go to like, just, you know, go EPC, Tesla parts, just look it up. Click on the parts catalog. That's what you'll see. Just create an account. I'll follow all the steps. I'll just tell you real quick what they make you do. They make you, uh, I think you have to give the, um, your tax ID number, make sure you're legit. And they also have you send in uh, pictures of your shop to make sure you're legit. That's it. And you don't want to be certified. Only body shops can be certified as a mechanic shop. Don't, you can just create a Tesla account and go to service subscriptions and just subscribe. It's free. Look, see like service manuals included, tooling catalog, wiring diagrams, service bulletins, labor codes and times. It's all included for free. Like Tesla cannot keep up. So, all that is free of charge. Now, if you want diagnostic software, the Toolbox 3, then it is $3,000 a year or uh, like 500 a month. So uh, if you're going to start out, like I would just start out doing like alignments, tie rotations, balancing, uh, cabin filters, wipers, um, 12 volt batteries, all those stuff. And then as you gain cu Tesla customers, things will pop up like, you know, door handles won't work or regulators, door uh, window regulators will stop working. And then you can just look that up with the Tesla service bulletins and uh, the repair manuals and just go from there. And then a lot of parts they'll have, you'll be able to order. So you just won't be able to order like high voltage batteries, the front drive units, things like that. So hopefully that helps.